In this tutorial, we're going to have a look at how to create this invisibility effect in After Effects. This will require only one additional plugin that's absolutely free that I'm going to share in the description. For best results, you must have the video shot on a tripod so you can isolate the movements of the subject. This is the first video footage that I'm going to use. We need to have a photo of the background without the subject, so for that, I'll drag and drop the video inside Photoshop, then get rid of the video group by selecting these two layers and pressing Command plus E. Then close the tab group with the timeline and using the lasso tool, I'll make a selection around the subject. Then press on Generative Fill to easily remove the subject. Save this frame as a JPEG file, then go back to After Effects to import it into the project, then add it to the timeline below the video. Then it's time to rotoscope the subject. For that, double click the video, then select the Roto Brush tool and start painting over the subject. Draw to add to the selection and hold Option or Alt while drawing to remove from it. Then play to track the subject and press freeze when you're done. Now you have the subject isolated. Go ahead and pre-compose that layer and check this to move everything in a new composition. Then duplicate the background image using Command or Control plus D. For the next step, you will need a free plugin called Displacer Pro. There's a link for that in the description. Once you have that installed, you might need to restart After Effects and then head to the Effects and Presets window and search for Displacer Pro. This plugin is basically a displacement map, but with more settings you can control. Here select the video layer, and in this other drop-down menu choose Effects and Masks. Then you can translate X and Y, but before you do that head to Map Adjustments and for the interpretation choose Legacy. Now you can mess with the X and Y values and the map softness to make the subject invisible. I've used the following values and achieved this result which basically makes him look like he's made out of glass or something like that. For the next video, I'll apply the same steps, basically drag the video and drop it in Photoshop, merge the group, make a selection with the lasso tool, use generative fill, then select some of the shadows on the ground as well and hide them with generative fill. Save the frame as a JPEG and import it in After Effects. Then rotoscope the subject, pre-compose it, then add displacer to the background. Here select the video layer, then select Effects and Masks, change the interpretation to Legacy, then translate X and Y, update the softness and customize the effect the way you want. I will also add a curves effect to the video to bring back some of the mid-tones, and then after messing around with the effects settings a little bit more, I got this result. The video project will be available in the description if you want to have a look. If you want to continue learning, check out this other video on the screen. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and visit our website for design resources, music, and more. Thank you, and see you next time. This is Creative Society.